Hi, I'm Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist. And here's the question. How to upload Google Files to someone else's Google Drive? And I'm going to show you the options you have in this video. Now, if I want to upload a file right here, file upload, go find a file. Let's go, go find a file under download. Let's get just a, uh, here's a spreadsheet. Let's get this spreadsheet right here and open. By default, that file, time report, is going to upload into, no matter what you're highlighting, it's going to upload into the folder that you're in. Now, I happen to be in the root, my drive. I scroll down here. There's that report. There is no feature in an upload when you're in your Google Drive to upload a file to someone else's Google Drive. Now you have two choices here. One choice you have is I could take that file now and I could share that with another person. Let me share it with uh, Teddy Burris at gmail.com and I'm going to make him the editor. And I'm going to say, here's the file and say it, send it. Now I have one more tact that I can do. I can go back to sharing on that file, hit share. Now once I've shared it with him, it still belongs to me, but I'm giving him access to it. But look, I have one more step, and that is transfer ownership. Now let me be clear about how this works. You got to do this at the file level. This does not work at the folder level. Um, a lot of a lot of things you do in Google Drive, uh, and and that is you can. Uh, in Google Drive, I could share, where's my folders? I could share a folder with someone, and but I can't transfer ownership of the files that are in the folder. Let me repeat. I can share a folder with someone. I can give someone ownership of that folder, but that does not by default give them ownership of all the files in the folder. I've already tested that. So what I've got to do is I've got to, at, at the file level, share it with them, and then at the file level, change them from being editor to transfer ownership and hit send. Now let me show you what happens. When I transfer ownership, this is what happens. I'm going to go back to the other side. Now here's the email I got to, for uh, an invitation own time report. If I click on that, you can see Burris Consulting has invited you to own a spreadsheet. So if I hit accept, now by the way, that spreadsheet, if I go look right now, if I go look to share with me, there's that spreadsheet. It's in shared with me. That's important to understand. Now if I hit accept ownership, now I've accepted ownership. Let me go back to share with me. It's gone. It's not here. Because where it went to is it went to my drive. Where is it? Let me change the way this displays. Time report. It is now under my drive because I have taken ownership of it. So if I click on that, if I can go look, I can see that I am now the owner, but it is still shared with BCI Testing or Burris Consulting. Now if I go back to Burris Consulting, I hit done, and I go hit refresh to get it to refresh. Now if I go look to under, where's that timesheet? There it is right there. Okay, so there's a shortcut to it. So when I open that file, I go to File Details. You can see the file belongs to Teddy Burris at gmail.com. It no longer belongs to me. But I have access to it still. And the way Google deals with that is it used to be in, uh, in here in my drive as a file. But they made a shortcut over to Shared With Me. And there's the file that's shared with me. And again, there's the details right there. And you can see it belongs to Teddy Burris at gmail.com. It no longer belongs to this original Burris Consulting at gmail.com. Bottom line, how do you upload files to someone else's Google Drive? You got to share the files with them. And then after you share it, you have to transfer ownership of the files to them at a file level. You can't do it at the folder level. I'm Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach. I hope this is helpful.